zu fein. Aber musst ihn aus dein. To teach me how to wine and do my taxes. Hi guys. Hello guys and welcome back to DIY Hard Greek, your number one animal scientist and your poultry success partner. So we are five days old today. I mean these broilers and the noiler, the dual purpose breed chickens. They are five days old and you know we are doing good we are doing well and like i said earlier this is organic everything you are seeing here we are raising them organically there are no antibiotics you can see these antibiotics something like this we are not using it yeah we are not using it we are embracing stuff like this and this this is the health emotion that i i think i posted the video some days ago this is the emotion the booster i've not started using this i just made it and then today i'm going to be giving them this bitter leaf juice uh this is a kind of update video i think i've only done one hey sorry i've only done one video since uh they came i think last week thursday night late in the night on thursday so I think we'll start counting on that Friday. All right, so right now they are doing well. The feed that I had to pound the other time, they can now eat it uh, very well now. As you can see, most of the feeders are even empty. Okay, come over, come over, come over. You're shy. All right, so leaving this feeder is just, um, I wanted to be sure that they are finishing everything. As, as you can see, they are done with it and they ate the feed that I didn't have to pound. So I think they are, they have adjusted well to the feed. And so I'm going to be giving them the bitter leaf juice. Before the end of the video, you'll be seeing how I produced the bitter leaf juice. Oh, I'm kind of distracted. I shouldn't pour that at all. All right, so before the end of the video, I'll be showing you how I produce this bitter leaf juice. I'm going to be adding it to their water. And um, in case you want to take advantage of the full course, I have a course that takes care of organic chicken farming. If you want to know what uh, organic chicken farming is from day old to maturity, how to train them, how to know the measurements of all the herbs and spices you'll be using, everything from start to finish, you that course is a value packed course for everyone. And if you take the course, you'll also be having access to my three books uh, The Complete Guide to Organic Poultry Farming, The Beginner's Guide to Successful Broiler Farming, and also The Master Turkey Manual. You'll be having access to all these three books for free. There's no extra cost. And the course itself, it used to be a 10 days training. I've crashed it into a course and it's really good. But on this, um, on the channel, I'll be exposing uh, the secrets of organic poultry to you guys. Though I may not be able to share all the measurements and all that, but you know what I use from time to time. So day one, I gave them um, the coconut water like I already said in the last video i'll be leaving a link to the video up here in case you've not seen it and um day two day three and day four they add their garlic and ginger garlic and ginger and you know they are really doing well i have been posting the their weights on the on the youtube platform as well as as on instagram and people have been commenting that they are really good uh we have up to 150 something 140 something some are still around 120 grams as of now and you know one thing that you need to know is that uh at one week old your chicks should be at least four times the weight at one day what am i saying if they are 50 grams on day one at one week old they should be minimum of 200 grams so we are expecting these ones to be minimum of about 190 to 200 grams at one week all right so let's see how we can get there and with that we don't have to make them suffer for food we have to provide them with all the feed that they need so i'll make sure that they have feed and one thing i want to com make comment on is the temperature the temperature around here is so high and trust me from day three after day three i think i've not been really using the gas brooder at night if you put on the gas brooder, 
even if it is the um, electric brooder here i have two brooders now the electric and the gas either of them is just going to be so hot in here the temperature is so hot i mean you have about 27 degrees without adding any heat sauce so i've stopped giving them it in the night and they are just good they are doing well soon i'll have to um remove this liter expand the guard or maybe i'll just remove this uh brooder guard you know but trust me these chicks are doing pretty well i can't i can't just wait to see what we have at uh day seven you can see they are rushing the feed they are really hungry they are hungry sorry guys sorry i have left their feeder without feed for about almost two hours now all right so let me just show you how i prepare this juice and also talk about the application all right so in case you are yet to subscribe to the channel you need to subscribe to this because i am helping poultry farmers to succeed in poultry farming i'm using my over 15 years of experience to train people you know for free for free just come back watch the videos learn from it ex uh, practice whatever you have learned on your own farm and you know you get fantastic results so all right let's go see how this bitter leaf juice is made Right, so let's take this as the practical session yeah so i have here i have inside the nylon i have bitter leaf and then some scent leaves and a digital scale on the digital scale we have 214 grams of leaves all together the bitter leaf is actually more than the scent leaf i just added the touch of the scent leaf about one over five the quantity of the bitter leaf all right so bitter leaf does exceedingly great when it comes to um coccidiosis treatment and prevention and also the scent leaves has its antibacterial properties it has the anti-inflammatory properties and also joins force with bitter leaf to tackle coccidiosis so these leaves are really good for what we are using them to do which is mainly prevention of um, coccidiosis among the flock okay so uh what you have to do is to get your leaves like this and you wash it you rinse it gently you don't have to squeeze it too much you just rinse gently and then you get your blender so right now i'm going to put them inside the blender and um we'll blend after this so i'll keep rinsing and squeezing a little just to remove the water and then i'll add them inside the blender yeah i want to encourage you to see or watch this video to the end uh, a lot of people fail to do that and in the comment section they tend to ask most of the questions that i believe that have been answered <clears throat> most of the questions that have been answered in the video if they had watched it to the end for example some ask for dosage some ask for all manner of questions uh, in different videos like that so you may want to sacrifice your time just to learn these okay so once we are done adding the list to the blender you're just going to add enough water to blend that's what i use basically these things are, are more like part of me now just like somebody that is cooking you know you just put your salt you just put your maggi you already know what is right all right but for the sake of you guys i have to like use some some kinds of measurements you know i have to show you on the scale what the leaves are weighing and all that typically i don't do that when i'm using the bitter leaf and the scent leaf so here is the quantity of water i'm adding just about 50 cl uh that's about 500 mils of water okay so this is enough to blend 
the leaves easily without having to struggle with the blender all right so uh we are just going to cover this now and proceed to blending so there are two ways that i sieve first i can decide to use this sieve uh the pores on these ones are still quite large but it's good enough if you are just um <clears throat> if you're just using the basil leaf juice with your manual drinkers however if i want to use the automatic drinkers where i have to put the juice or add the medication to the to their tank and everything is passing through the hose and all that then i would have to proceed to the second stage of um saving which i'll also show you now uh, in that case we'll be using the cheese cloth so we don't get lots of particles clogged into the hose or automatic drinkers so this is what the cheese cloth looks like and what you have to do is just to pour the content into it uh pour the mix into it and then you you squeeze it out you apply pressure i'm just going to show you briefly now you apply some pressure and you get uh the water or the juice that you want you get it out of uh, the leaves and you are going to be left with some leaves and that leaf is also useful actually i use that in the kitchen i use it to cook from this very uh batch i actually took a little of it and added it to the sweet vegetable i made and um you know just to have that bitter taste and it's quite medicinal okay so that's what we have uh, you can see you can see what the leaf looks like in the cheese clothes right so this is how you squeeze and squeeze and squeeze and what we have here in the bottle is the old one that i just removed from the fridge yeah actually maybe i forgot to mention this you have to store this in the fridge i store mine in the fridge and this one has been staying there for months so i don't use it again i have to get the fresh one and um, I'm just gonna clean the bottle and you know put this one inside it Right now, so we are serving the bitter leaf juice uh, as well as the scent leaf. We are serving it to the chicks now. And um, uh, just as a guide, if you have your mixture, if you have your concoction prepared in this manner, you can just add about 20 ml of it to each of the drinkers. That's each of the three liter drinkers for prevention. Uh, if you want to have full grasp of this knowledge and uh, you want to be able to tell how many grams of leaves that you need, everything, the measurement as well as uh, concussions to treat other diseases in poultry, you may want to take the full cost. The cost is just 7,500 Naira or $18. So thank you all for watching. This is your number one animal scientist and poultry success partner.